symptoms of a bad ignition coil. Easy diagnosis and fixes. Ever had your car run rough for no clear reason? Maybe it struggles to start in the morning. Maybe it shakes at idle. Maybe it's down on power and drinks more fuel than usual. Sometimes you even catch a sharp pop from the exhaust or a whiff of raw gas. A lot of people blame the spark plugs or dirty fuel, but there's another part that quietly does the heavy lifting for every spark your engine makes. That part is the ignition coil. When it starts to fail, your engine lets you know in very specific ways. If you can read those signs early, you can fix the problem fast and avoid damage to expensive parts like your catalytic converter. In this video, we're going to break down the nine most common symptoms of a bad ignition coil. I'll explain how each sign shows up, what's really happening behind the scenes, and simple tests you can do at home. I'll also share quick fixes and smart prevention tips so you don't chase the wrong repair. Stick with me, because a few minutes of the right checks can save you a lot of money and headaches. And hey, welcome to Auto V-Fix, where we break car problems down in plain English so you can stay one step ahead of your repairs and keep more money in your pocket. Let's start with what the ignition coil actually does. Your battery sits at about 12 volts. That isn't nearly enough to jump the gap at a spark plug inside a running engine. The coil's job is to transform that low voltage into tens of thousands of volts so the spark can ignite the air-fuel mix. Older cars often use one coil for the whole engine. Many modern cars use a coil-on-plug setup, where each plug gets its own coil. When one goes weak or dies, that cylinder loses spark. The result is misfiring, poor performance, and sometimes a no-start. So, how do you know when a coil is going bad? Here are the nine signs to watch for, in plain language and in real-world order. First, a steady check engine light. Your car's computer monitors how each cylinder is firing. If it sees a weak spark or a dead spark on a cylinder, it sets a code and turns on the light. A scan with an OBD2 reader may show codes in the P0350 to P0362 range. Those point to coil circuit issues. For example, P0351 usually means the coil on cylinder one has a problem. This light doesn't tell you everything by itself, but it's a strong hint. If you can pull the codes that you'll know where to look next. Second, misfiring and rough idle. This is the classic sign. The engine feels uneven, the RPM needle hunts up and down, and the car may shudder at stoplights. On the road, the car can hesitate or stumble when you press the gas. That's the cylinder with the weak or dead spark falling behind. The fuel in that cylinder doesn't fully burn, so the engine shakes. Third, hard starts or extended cranking. Coils have to work hardest during cold starts. If a coil is weak, the engine may crank longer than normal before it fires. On a single coil system, the engine may not start at all if that one coil dies. On coil on plug systems, the engine might start but feel lumpy for the first few seconds, then clear up a bit as the other cylinders pick up the slack. Fourth, random stalling. You're idling in traffic and the engine just shuts off. Or you're cruising and it cuts out for a moment, then comes back. Heat can push a failing coil over the edge. As the coil heats up, the internal windings can open up and the spark drops out. When things cool, it works again. That on-off behavior is a telltale sign. Fifth, a flashing check engine light. This is different from a steady light. A flashing light means the computer sees a severe misfire right now. That can overheat and damage the catalytic converter fast. If you see the light flashing while the engine is stumbling, Ease off the throttle and address the misfire as soon as possible. Coils are a top suspect. Sixth, backfiring or sharp pops from the exhaust. When a cylinder doesn't light on time, unburned fuel can enter the exhaust and ignite there. Y you may hear a bang or a series of pops, sometimes with a strong fuel smell. It sounds dramatic because it is. Keep driving like that and you can hurt the exhaust system. Seventh, reduced power and slow acceleration. Weak spark means weak burn. The engine feels lazy, especially when merging or going uphill. You press the pedal, but the car responds late and pulls like it's half asleep. That's a common everyday clue that often gets ignored. Eighth, poor fuel economy. When the burn is incomplete, the computer tries to compensate. It can add more fuel to smooth things out. You end up at the pump more often. If your mileage suddenly drops and nothing else has changed, coils are worth checking. Ninth, 
a raw gas smell or high hydrocarbon emissions. A persistent fuel smell at the tailpipe or higher than normal hydrocarbons on an emissions test can point to misfires. Since coils create the spark, a failing coil is near the top of the list. Now that you know the signs, let's talk about quick ways to confirm the problem. Start simple. If the check engine light is on, scan for codes. A basic handheld scanner works. If you see a cylinder-specific misfire code like Pileros 302 for cylinder 2 and an ignition coil code for that same cylinder, you're on the right track. If you don't have a scanner, many parts stores will read the codes for you. Next, try a visual check. Pop the coil off the cylinder the code points to. Look for cracks in the plastic body. Look for carbon tracking, which looks like thin black lightning marks on the coil or the plug boot. Check the connector for broken locks, green corrosion, or oil in the plug well. Oil from a leaking valve cover can soak the boot and short the spark to ground. Water can do the same. If you see contamination, fix the leak and clean or replace the parts. If you have coil on plug, a quick swap test is gold. Move the suspect coil to another cylinder. Clear the codes, drive, and see where the misfire moves. If the misfire code follows the coil to the new cylinder, the coil is the issue. If it stays on the original cylinder, you may be looking at a plug, injector, compression, or wiring problem. You can also do basic resistance checks with a multimeter. Remove the coil. Check the primary side at the small terminals. Many coils will read roughly half an ohm to a couple of ohms on the primary. Then check the secondary side from the coil's high voltage output to the primary common. Many will read in the thousands of ohms. Always compare to the spec for your engine. If your reading is way off, the coil is suspect. Keep in mind, resistance tests can miss heat-related failures. A coil can pass cold and fail hot. That's why the swap test under real conditions is so helpful. If you have access to a scope, coil current ramps and secondary patterns can tell the full story. Most people don't, and that's fine. The code read, the visual check, and the swap test solve most cases in the driveway. Let's talk fixes. If a single coil has failed on a coil on plug system, you can replace just that one and be back on the road. Use a quality part. Cheap coils can fail early and leave you repeating the job. If your engine has high mileage and several coils are the same age, replacing them in sets can make sense, especially if access is tough. At the very least, replace the coil and the spark plug on that cylinder together. A worn plug with a big gap makes the coil work much harder. That extra strain shortens coil life. If your car uses plug wires, inspect them closely. Look for burns, cracks, and high resistance. Old wires can cause misfires that feel just like a bad coil. If the wires are questionable, replace them as a set. Also check for damaged connectors and rub through harnesses at the coil plugs. Electrical tape is not a long-term fix here. Use proper terminals and heat shrink when you repair wiring. Prevention is simple and powerful. Replace spark plugs on schedule and set the gap correctly. A larger than spec gap forces the coil to produce higher voltage on every fire. That wears it out early. Keep oil and coolant leaks under control. Fluids in the plug wells cause misfires and can ruin coils. Make sure your air filter is clean and there are no major vacuum leaks. Lean mixtures need higher spark energy. That pushes coils harder. If your engine bay traps a lot of heat, a simple heat shield or routing fix near the coils can help them live longer. Here's a quick recap you can remember the next time the car acts up. Steady check engine light with coil codes. Scan and investigate that cylinder. Rough idle and stumbling on takeoff? Think coil or plug on a coil on plug engine. Hard starts, especially cold? Weak coil is possible. Random stalls that come and go with heat? Very likely coil. Flashing check engine light while it misfires. Ease up and fix it soon to protect the catalytic converter. Pops from the exhaust, power loss, bad mileage, and a fuel smell at the tailpipe? all fit the same story. If you're diagnosing at home, use a simple order. Pull codes, look. Swap, decide. Replace the bad coil with a quality part. Pair it with a fresh plug if the plug is old or fouled. Clear the codes, test drive. If the misfire is gone, you nailed it. If it remains, widen the search to plugs, injectors, compression, or wiring on that cylinder. One more tip that saves people money. 
If you keep seeing coils fail one after another, look for the root cause. Worn plugs, oil in the plug wells, and poor grounds are common triggers. Fix those and your new coils will last. Now you know the nine signs of a bad ignition coil, the quick tests that work, and the smart fixes that stick. The next time your engine shakes, idles rough, or lights up the dash, you won't guess. You'll have a plan. If this breakdown helped, give the video a thumbs up and share it with someone whose car has been misfiring lately. And if you want more car advice explained in plain English, don't forget to subscribe to Auto V Fix so you can stay one step ahead of your repairs and keep more money in your pocket. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.